MC and welcome back to Ace Cafe. Now this video is brought to you by CarHuddle.com, the free online car show directory and today is a JDM night at the cafe. So we've got a lineup of bikes as per usual because it was predominantly a bike cafe. Up there is Venus. I uh, don't know what he's doing there, but there is Venus. How close to Venus? There we go. And inside we've got Skyline, Sylvia's, Supras and other Japanese cars that don't begin with the letter S. However, the first cars we come across do indeed begin with the letter S. We've got this lovely R33 GTR Skyline and this Sora, which looks incredible. I am a big fan of the Sora. Next up, we've got this 350 GT Skyline and a R35 GTR alongside an R33. Then we've got a Nismo 370Zs um, and a Mitsubishi Colt with some arches. I'm sure this is an addition that I don't know about because I'm not that clued up on Colts, but there you go. That's one for the keyboard warriors to tell me off about. And then we've got a Mazda 3 MPS with its lights and another R33 and Supra has just turned up next to a Subaru, um, a standard Lexus, some Micras and more. We've got a Mark IV Supra next to a GTR and next along a RX-7 with very brave red wheels and a GT86. Ah, and the Auto Extreme R33 has just rolled in. This one sounds incredible. So next to the Auto Extreme R33, we've got this stunning Nissan Bluebird, a yellow Celica, a red Subaru, a turquoise 50Z, and a green 370Z, a very colorful section. This Subaru, on my point out, is very wide body. It's uh, got some molded arches on it, very vibrant, and the 350Z has a lot of shimmer going on in its paintwork. And furthermore, this 370Z has got some matching green spokes, but only two Two of them. Two is the magic number for his book. We've got this lovely shade of green on it, but next door to that is an S14 Sylvia. Lovely shade of maroon. And another R33, another R33, and yep, you guessed it, alongside a Civic and a GT86 and an S15. I'll say that again, an S15 Varietta. That is the folding hardtop version of the Sylvia S15. Very rare car, this one being automatic. Next door to its manual sibling, a hardtop, fixed hardtop, S15. It's not strictly my name, AC Adam, but I'll go with it. Next door to that is a Subaru and an FTO leaving us where we began. Now cars will still be rolling in in the next maybe hour or so, so I'll be capturing that, but that's a brief look at some of the cars that have already turned up. So at the engines of the cafe, we've got this cutesy little Mark 1 MX-5 parked up next to a lorry, and we'll be awaiting some of the arrivals. There's a Mitsubishi there, and another MX-5 just down there, parked right in the corner, how to focus and all that. Well, here we go, we've got a Subaru. Oh, and another Mark 4 Super, that lovely. Datsun 240Z, a bit of JDM royalty turning up. And a couple more Skylines have arrived, including a lovely R32. Lol, that's a lie. So I thought I might be hated if I didn't pay more attention to this Lancer GSR Evo 2 that is parked along the street with its brave red wheels and the Rally Art livery looking incredible. So we're still waiting for quite a few more cars to turn up. There should be about 80 that are here tonight. They'll all be coming from over there, unless they come from over there. So we'll head a little bit further down the road to the traffic lights where the cars will be all approaching from. We've got this EP3 who is parked along here. Oh, I can hear something. Sounds like a Civic. Here he comes. And a Subaru. There's an Audi A4 event in a lovely shade of green with a roof box. Um, not Japanese though. Oh, there's Wembley Arch. 
but Honda's leaving too early. He's going to do a flyby. So we're back at the cap, and I've just realised this Mark II MX-5 has an Aston Martin grille on the front of it. This Audi's cooking its engine at Gas Mark V. So some of the cars have decided that enough is enough and it's time to depart, including this GT86 with the Ventador rear lights, which is also out of focus. Grrr. There we go. <laughs> things off. Don't know what that was all about. So this is what happens when motorbikes do burnouts next to your car. Not good. This guy is holding up traffic to try and engage his launch control. Don't be like this guy. He's been there about 15 seconds, which is 15 seconds too long. Still trying to work out which buttons to press. Form an orderly queue. He's given up. <laughs> Yes, the common scene of Ace Cafe. Anyone else? Yep, there we go. There he goes. Ladies want him now. Oh, oh, I think he's seen one of the bikers. You think he's after them? Oh, oh, he's fallen off his bike. How embarrassing. Right next to a police car. And on he goes. Oh, he's on the pavement now. There they go. Oh, there they go. Over the pedestrian footpath. Whatever they're trying to prove, they've proven it. Oh, another Sora. Lovely. about not being allowed in, but it's not Japanese. And now time for the JDM Astra.
Would you look at that, Ace Cafe is closed. It's quite late and I've got an early start tomorrow morning, but hey ho, that's what I do for you guys. That was the Nihon Nights, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, at Ace Cafe. So a Japanese evening, with a few German cars that turn up as well. It always happens, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for all the weekly posts I do about the events. But for now, thanks for watching.